Hello, and welcome to part 2 of my Strange Woodville and Wellington series, with this video being filmed on Sunday, June 12. Although we'll prominently feature Steam Incorporated's 50th anniversary excursions, I started the day by going to Pahiatua and checking out the Railcar Society's depot. This station is on the Northern Wairarapa Line, and the yard is home to a unique collection of railcars, small locomotives, and other rolling stock. Notable examples include all three Silverfin railcars, and the sole surviving Wairarapa railcar. They've also got two standards, namely RMs 31 and 34. Right in front of the Silver Ferns was a workshop, in which Fiat Railcar RM121 is slowly being restored to working order. And this is TR36, a tiny 040 diesel shunter built in 1939. She is one of the so-called Drury TRs, and has been a resident in Pahiatua since 1994. Further back from the workshop was another storage shed, and I wasn't expecting to go in this one since it looked like you couldn't go into the shed where RM121 was, but one of the society members opened this door regardless, and we were quite impressed to see what was inside. Of course, it wouldn't be a visit to Pahia Tua without a cameo from standard railcar RM31. But for me, the prize catch was Wairarapa Railcar RM5. Indeed, this was probably the most unique rail vehicle I saw throughout the whole trip. RM5, Mahuhu, is the sole survivor of a once seven strong class. These diminutive railcars were built in 1936 and are designed to operate over the Rimutaka incline. Six were originally built with a 7th, RM10, arriving in 1937. RM10 was a combined passenger and freight rail car. These things were quite unusual, in the sense that they only had a cab at one end. Then there was their wheel arrangement, which consisted of an unpowered two-axle bogey up front, with a single powered axle at the back. The whole body was built higher than a normal rail car, in order to clear the fell centre rail. The cars were only in service for around 19 years, as the Rimutaka Incline was closed in 1955, and replaced by the Rimutaka Tunnel Deviation. RM5 was one of four Wairarapa cars initially preserved, and she was the one chosen for restoration because she was in the best condition of those four. Originally based at the Silverstream Railway in the Hutt Valley, RM5 was leased to the Pahiatua Railcar Society in 1992. After more than 20 years of hard work, her restoration was finally completed in 2017, though at the time of uploading, she hasn't run any mainline excursions yet. RM31, Tokomaru, on the other hand, has been a regular performer on the big railway. Indeed, I rode on the standard from National Park to the Rodimu just over a month ago. Thank you. 
it's a baby step. After checking out the Pahia Tua Railcar Society, my original plan was to spend the rest of the day in Woodville and wait for the Steam Incorporated excursions there, but for one very specific reason I dashed over to Palmerston North first. Once at the station, I caught up with the Muffin Man again, and both of us filmed JA1271 and AB608 with their excursion from Wellington via the main trunk. Seeing steam locomotives on the main line is a rare thing these days, especially in this country. Steam Incorporated was celebrating their 50th anniversary by running two excursions to Woodville. The other one was hauled by DAs 1410 and 1431, going via the Wairarapa line. Besides the rather ugly 1960s architecture, Palmerston North Station is notable for being the home of KiwiRail's track machines. One of them is the ballast cleaner ETM 567. This is also the northern terminus for the Capital Connection, a weekdays only commuter service to Wellington.
after that surprise cameo from DSG3005, we finally got what we'd come to Palmerston North for in the first place. This was DL9014 hauling four EF-class electric locomotives down to Wellington, with the convoy running as train B23. As for why those EFs went to the capital in the first place, I'm guessing they were the next in line for refurbishment, but don't quote me on that. Somehow we made it back to Woodville before the excursions had left. Although the footage I shot on the platform is unusable due to the incomprehensibly large crowds getting in the way, so I've cut straight to my footage of AB608 and JA1271 going round the balloon loop. One thing I've never liked about these sorts of occasions is the huge crowds, especially when you always end up in the wrong spot. In other words, I soon got sick of people walking in front of the cameras, and soon made an effort to stand in a better spot. And here we see JA1271's coal supply being replenished, using a method that's a far cry from how they did it in the days when steam was king. More power to those who worked out what book, and indeed what author, I was just referring to.
Meanwhile, DA's 1410 and 1431 were on their way back down the Wairarapa line. After watching the steam locomotives leave Woodville, I headed down State Highway 2 and caught up with the diesels just south of Pahiatua. I only caught these two in Manga Maire and Newman, since I just about had enough rail fanning for the day, as crazy as that may sound. For reference, this part of the line does not see any regular Kiwi Rail services. <laughs> The brief time I spent here at Newman was rather silly, in the sense that my shoes got very muddy when I was trudging to and from the car. Despite the rather muddy surfaces I had to deal with, I think it was worth the hassle given the presence of those DAs. On the way back to Woodville, we stopped in Pahia Tua to get some dinner from New World, and because I wanted to get these closing shots for the video. That supermarket is quite different to what I'm used to, given its dated appearance, small size, and lack of conveyor belts at the checkouts. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the variety of rail cars and locomotives throughout the video. The next one should be done very soon.